Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and this is Game 1 of the semifinals at the Mirrodin Besiege pre-release. Kyle played a turn 1 go to an urn, and then added a counter to it on his next upkeep. Then Corey laid down a leaden mirror. Kyle then killed the mirror with a burn the M pure, and then Corey replaced it with a Palladium mirror. On Kyle's next upkeep, he remembered to bring his urn up to two counters. He then destroyed the mirror with the Divine Offering and went up to 23 life, and then he finished his turn off by casting the Silvok Life Staff. Corey then cast a Glint Hawk Idol and passed the turn back to Kyle, which point Kyle added another counter to his urn and gave it back to Corey, and then Corey animated the idol and attacked Kyle, bringing him down to 21 life. Kyle's urn went up to four counters, and then he resolved a Kuldotha Ringleader. At the end of the turn, Corey got himself two Mirror Tokens with a Master's Call, then on his next turn, he used a Red Sun Zenith to kill the Ringleader. He then attacked with his two Mirror and brought Kyle down to 19. Kyle brought his urn up to five counters, and then Corey animated his hawk and attacked for four more, taking Kyle down to 15 life. Then post-combat, he resolved an Ogre Resistor. Kyle then cast a Shimmer Mirror and equipped his staff to it. Corey then used an Arrest on the Mirror and then animated his idol and attacked with the team for eight damage, taking Kyle down to seven life. Kyle brought his urn up to six counters and then got himself two Mirror with a Master's Call, he then finished up his turn by equipping his life staff to one of the mirror. Corey then animated his idol and attacked with his team. Kyle decided to double block the resistor with his two mirror. He took four damage from the creatures but also gained three life from the staff, taking him to six. Corey then finished off his turn by casting an Elspeth Tyrell. He then used her to make him some soldier tokens but only got two, forgetting that she actually gave him three. Kyle took his urn up to seven counters, but didn't play anything new. Corey then brought his Elspeth back up to four loyalty, animated his idol, and gained himself five life, going up to 25. He then attacked with the team. During combat, though, Kyle killed the Glint Hawk idol with the Divine Offering and gained two life, and then took four from the other tokens, going down to four life. On Kyle's next turn, he took his urn up to eight counters, and then cast a Razor Hippogriff. However, he didn't have any artifacts in his graveyard to return to his hand, so he equipped his staff to his hippogriff and passed the turn. Corey then brought his Elspeth up to 6 loyalty and gained 4 life, making his new life total 29. He then attacked with his team. Kyle blocked one of the tokens to kill it and then lost 3 life from the other creatures, going down to 1. On Kyle's next turn, he brought his urn up to 9 counters. He then attacked Corey's Elspeth with his equipped Hippogriff, bringing it down to two loyalty. Then post-combat, he resolved a Blister Stick Shaman and used it to destroy one of Corey's tokens. He then finished his turn by equipping his staff to his Shaman. Corey then used his Elspeth's last two loyalty to give himself two soldiers again and then passed the turn. Kyle took his urn up to ten counters. He then attacked with his Shaman and his Hippogriff. Corey decided not to block and took the 6 damage, going down to 23 life. Then post-combat, Kyle resolved a Mirren Crusader and equipped his staff to it. Corey tried to gain a little bit of board position by resolving a Spin Engine. Then Kyle brought his urn up to 11 counters on his next turn. He then attacked with his Crusader and his Hippogriff. Corey chose not to block again, so took the 9 damage and went down to 14 life. Then post-combat, Kyle resolved a Mirror Battle Sphere. Corey then set down a Glint Hawk Idol and passed the turn. Kyle then took his urn to 12 counters. Then he resolved a Kuldotha Phoenix and equipped his Life Staff to it. For his combat, he decided to attack with the Phoenix along with his Hippogriff. Corey blocked the Phoenix with his Idol and then took the damage from the Hippogriff, going down to 10 life. Then he drew his next card off of his library and scooped to Kyle, giving him the game, taking them to Game 2.